know, we, as we said earlier, the, the range of beers that we produce um, has, has been uh, influenced by our personal taste. And, um, you know, over the years, we've, uh, we've gravitated uh, to beer styles that we have, uh, uh, that other breweries have made that we've admired or um, made our own, our, our own individual take on, on the effort of, uh, of a classic uh, classic um, style, um, and uh, but balance is really the key for us. We we want to make balanced, well balanced beers that uh, um, the consumer can can sit down and enjoy um, a couple of. Right. I think I think the 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 style itself I think is a a style that unfortunately is just very underdeveloped. Mm -hmm. It's the style that, to, from, from a consumer's point of view, I think the least is known of. And I think that Le Merle and Puck both are beers that are we think are wonderful beers, and we need to continue to, to like hand sell these beers and sample these beers so people can, like us can understand that they're great beers. They're great with food. Uh, they're just a great addition to the whole craft experience. But I think it starts with just tasting it, and you've got to get people to try that beer. We find if you get if you get sampling, you get people to taste it, you'll get people to, to, to buy it, and it'll sell through. And that's what we keep working on with both of those styles. Well, I think consumer tastes consumers are will will continue to gravitate towards. Um, well-made beers and, and uh, as Doug says, beers that, that uh, go great with food. Um, I think that uh, there'll be fads that come and go, but uh, in the long run, people are going to continue to, to uh, gravitate back to uh, well-balanced, well-made beers. Yeah, and I, I actually think, I think one of the styles that we make that I, I'm very optimistic about its growth, again, even though it's on the limited end of the spectrum now, but I think our old stock ale is another beer with trial and education people will understand. Right now it's very hard to find a beer on a dessert or after dinner list in a restaurant. There's lots of ports and brandies and other things to have after dinner. I think hotel restaurants, sophisticated white tablecloth restaurants will be adding good beers to their dessert list and their after dinner list and I think old stock has a really good niche to fit in that and it's one of the things that we're working on.